You know what's fun about trends is that you can interpret them however you want. And so this is my interpretation of Ryan Dar Coastal Cowboy. Is it cowboy or cowgirl? Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can read from the title of this video, today we are thrifting all things Coastal Cowgirl. This is definitely an aesthetic that has been going around for a while and it is just my summer vibe. I am here for it. I love every single piece I have seen. So I put together a little Pinterest board just for some inspiration, style inspiration, kind of figuring out what to look for. So today we will be thrifting my Pinterest board, the coastal cowgirl aesthetic. If you've been watching my channel for a while and you're looking at me going, something's different. What changed? I chopped off all my hair. It was very long, but very unhealthy. We're starting from ground zero. If you like these types of videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really supports me and my channel and helps me make more videos just like this one. So let's head on in and see what we can find. Coastal cowgirl. Okay, so I wanted to start off in the dress section and looking for some dresses like these. Looking for white at a thrift store can always be a little bit risky, but we'll see what all we can find. Not seeing anything white or cream off the bat. I don't know. This is like Coastal Cowgirl, but like 2012 Coastal Cowgirl. I don't think it's quite the mood. I'm looking for white and cream, but also like crochet. I feel like crochet and knitted materials is very coastal-esque. I feel like this could somewhat fit, like a very modest coastal cowgirl, somewhat coastal grandma. I don't know, I feel like if you had the right belt with this, like a braided belt and the boots, this could have some potential. I personally feel like overalls fit for the cowgirl aesthetic, coastal cowgirl. Um, these are too small for me, but they are $12.99. If we find some other ones, I might purchase them. This is definitely it. We have a little bit of lace detail, the like rufflies, the white color, nice long maxi dress. Um, I think this will look so cute if we can find some cowboy boots to pair with it. A bit pricey, but we will hold on to her. Along with white and creams, brown is definitely like the pop of color for the coastal cowgirl look. This whole dress immediately adds to cart. I feel like I have definitely seen this or something like this pinned on my boards, so this is an immediate pickup. Coastal cowgirl or not, this is necessary. This is one of those that you just kind of have to try on because on the hanger, she's not much, and we do have some padded shoulders but I think if it fits right on and paired with the cowboy boot, the cowboy boot is what makes this look and what makes everything look perfection. So I think it's definitely worth trying on. There's also this slip lining. That's amazing as well. This could be like a two for one if you wore the pieces separately. So adding to cart. Oh, this is definitely a part of the look. I don't know what you call this. Poplin. It's kind of like a lacy poplin material and like these layered ruffles. <laughs> I clearly don't know the correct terminology. Um, $14.99. I honestly, this one's not giving me a strong vibe of that it would look good on me. But we're here to just try everything on, give everything a chance. It's the point of a new style and um, we'll see how it fits. Also here in denim with these little puffed sleeves. I feel like the puffed sleeves is just very much a part of all of the dresses. 
and denim in general. As I'm going through picking up all of these clothes and saying, you know, like, it's whites and creams and denim. No wonder I like this look because that's pretty much all I wear. So again, not really initially my style looking at it on the rack, but we'll try it on. I feel like this one is a coastal cowgirl meets chic. Like she's a coastal cowgirl, but she has a business meeting to attend to. I think it's really cute. It is $8.99. I think blue tag. Oh, not on sale, but it is an extra small. So this coastal cowgirl will not be attending any meetings, but it's cute. Oh, somehow I feel like this kind of fits. I think it would look so cute paired with brown cowboy boots and I'm loving the color combo. So coastal cowgirl or not, I think I need to get this one. Okay, we did really, really good in the dresses. I think we're gonna make our way over to the skirts. I feel like it's along the same line, those same type of poplin materials, maxi midi skirts, very flowy and breezy and lacy, um, as well as the denim skirts, like a short denim mini. So we'll head to the skirt section and see what we can find. Okay, first one that I found. I do think this kind of fits. Like you could create the outfit look with it, like an upscale, um, but it's far too small for me, so. This is good, but I feel like it needs to be flowier and more of a maxi. So it has like this print on here, like it's a bandana. I don't know if this is playing too much into it, like being too specific, too spot on. Could be cute with some boots. I feel like I'm in the wrong section for maxi skirts. These all look very short. So I'm just gonna kind of like look for denim and see if maxis are on the other side. intimidating stains but this flowiness definitely is it long enough i feel like this is like a good length because you're going to be wearing your cowboy boots and like you want those boots to show a little so this is kind of perfect 9.99 I was a little worried. I didn't think we were going to find any skirts. Ooh, no. Again, I see designs like this and I'm like, Coastal Calco, yes. But this feels a little, like, too dated. Like, if this was a maxi length, I'd be a little more on board because I love this whole belted detail and I love what the skirt is doing. I just need it to be longer. Let's keep looking through the inspo board. Okay, this coastal cowgirl is not gonna wear like a ton of denim, like jeans, just because I have a ton at home and it's, we're approaching summer and the last thing I wanna do is wear jeans and buy more jeans right now. Um, so I'm gonna truck on and see if I can find some more mini skirts. I feel like there's gotta be more denim mini skirts around here. And then 
We'll go on a quest for some cowboy boots. Okay. Hey, remember that time I said I wasn't gonna go look through the denim? And here I am standing in the middle of the denim aisle. I found a bunch of denim. I didn't have any luck. In the short section, they were either like, well, they were like the super short, like booty shorts, which I'm not really wanting. So I figured I would just cut some to the length that I wanted, but then I found a ton of good denim in the process. Um, I need to try some of these on to see which ones fit the best that I'll turn into shorts, but I think like black cutoff shorts would be really cute. So I have two different pairs here. I'm a little bit more into like the faded wash. So we'll see how they fit. I also found this Lee denim. I really like the wide legs. So I think that would look cute cut as shorts. Um, they're a little too short for me to wear as pants, but Lee denim usually fits me pretty good. So I feel good about those. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at these Levi's that I found. They're so cute with the butterflies. I haven't decided if I want to leave them like as is or cut them into shorts. I think they would be cute as shorts as well. I don't know if they'll fit, so I need to try them on. But I think someone like did this themselves and it is, ugh, I love these. And then I found another pair, yeah, another pair of stitched butterflies. These might be too big but I thought they'd be cute cut into shorts as well. And then just some basic denim. So gotta narrow that down. Most likely we'll cut all of them into shorts, the ones I take. Let's look through accessories because I feel like the accessories are what makes this whole aesthetic um, and makes any outfit really. So let's head there. And this one is Perfect. Love this little detail. Oh, I love when these types of bags have pockets on the inside. Perfect. That card's getting really full. And leather bags as well. Oh, this one is perfect. It's like a little cowgirl satchel. Twelve ninety nine. This is a great bag. Add to cart. Accessories are essential. This could even be perfect too. I like the buckle embellishment and the color tones. I feel like belting of the skirts is like a huge trend, just like layering a belt over your white or cream skirt. So I found a couple of belts. This one I just think is so pretty, but it's a little too narrow. I feel like it's definitely all about like the thick belt, but thick and braided, but this one was just pretty. And this one's like a thick brown one, but it is like a leather, faux leather material, which could be okay. I think it's, it's, a, it's too small for me, but I think it would be cute. This one. Ooh. This one is like leaning into the trend 100% with the buckle detail. I don't know if I'm gonna go that far into it because I definitely like, I want it to be wearable. I want it to be something I wear more than once. Oh, and don't worry, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. <laughs> definitely look for like the buckle, the embellished belt buckles are definitely part of that trend. It's kind of all about wearing them around your hips more so your, than your waist. So I think this could be cute with the white skirt that we picked up earlier, $4.99. For tops, it's definitely all about like open weaved, crocheted, ooh. No, not that. It's definitely all about like the open tie front, little crocheted and knitted tops some tanks, very airy and breathable. Like just like this, this is perfect. My card's about to roll down it. Nope, okay. Uh, just like this, this is absolutely perfect. We have an open weave, little button front. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better top.
because it's like dark brown. I feel like this is it with the lacy front. Paired with the denim skirt and the belt. I'm gonna pass, but I think it would definitely fit the look. <laughs> if we were shopping the mermaid core, that would be it. almost it because it's one of those you could just put a little button in the front but if you look very closely it has this sparkle detail that I'm just not on board with so Hopeful that I'm gonna find any cowboy boots, at least in the women's section. Um, but I did go through the tops and I picked a few out. We have some tie front, this white tie front. Perfect with the denim shorts. I found this little brown and white tank that I think will go great with that flowy white skirt. I found this little slip dress in the tank section. I don't know if I'll keep it. It's not very like cowgirl aesthetic but it's simple oh and then I grabbed this vest which I didn't see this detail in the back um so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back let's see if we can find some cowboy boots I think we'll have to go look in the men's section and see if they have cowboy boots I cannot believe it but I just found some cowboy boots so it says that they are a size 13 but I don't know if that's like men's sizes or women's sizes. Lining up next to my foot that looks pretty close, but I'd hate to risk it. For $35, I would hate to risk it. But these are like exactly what I was looking for. All right, I'm gonna start going through this cart, trying things on and making some tough cuts. Oh my God, this is so not me. Not me and not not cute on me. Okay, I don't hate this one as much as the other one. It's definitely not something I would normally go for, but I think it could be cute for the summertime. Maybe like paired with, once I have the boots on and it's paired with the boots, it could be better. No surprise, I figured this one would be too big. Uh, yeah, it's too big, but it was probably my favorite out of all of them. The link, if it had fit properly, <laughs> this would have been oh, so perfect. I mean, this is like a lot going on here, but I kind of like it. I tried to like move the shoulder pads out of the way. Um, it looks very like 90s movie mom. <laughs> in person i don't know what it looks like on camera i tried to like i'm holding this belt here to see if that helps adding a belt i can't say that i love there's like details that i love of the dress but i can't say that i love the entire thing and i just don't know if i want to spend 20 dollars just for this like underslip portion which i do like so <laughs> i might put this one back I feel like I've just been looking at too many clothes at this point and I just don't know what I like anymore. So... Okay, that was so fun just thrifting for like a certain aesthetic, a certain look. So if there's any others that you really like or you want me to kind of thrift, comment them down below in the comment section because um, that was just really fun. So now I have a huge haul for you to go through. I can't wait to make some outfits for you guys with the coastal cowgirl look. How many times did I say that throughout this video? But I have my huge cup of fruit here to eat. There is a fruit stand like right outside the parking here and you gotta hit it up post thrift trip because it's so good. Let's head home, let's do this haul. All right, got my coffee, I got the goods. Let's do this haul. So many good finds today. I'm like, I don't know if I should put outfits together. I'll just put them on as I saw them paired. Let's throw these butterfly pants on and...
and the knit top. So with the denim, like I would have loved them more if they were like a baggier fit. I'm just not into fitted denim right now. Like I do not want my denim to touch my thighs. So initially I had thought that I was gonna make these shorts cause I think they would be the cutest little butterfly shorts. But I know you guys like to shop my thrift finds sometimes. And so if this is like your dream pant, like I would hate to turn them into shorts if you would rock them as pants. They're Levi's 501s, size 29, but whoever like DIY these took the waist in a little bit so I could give you more direct measurements if you want them. So I have this offer up for a week. If you want these pants, slide into my DMs, let me know they were $20 and I can put them up on my Poshmark for you. Otherwise I'm gonna cut them into some shorts. And then we have our knit open weave top. I love this touch of like green, mint green throughout. So there we go. Look one, let's change the pants. Okay, pants number two. These were $9.99. I got them because I'm turning them into shorts. So let's do that right now. Boom. Sometimes where the mystery stain is, is what dictates where your initial cut will be. And then once you wash them, they'll start getting that frayed effect at the bottom. So I just threw on my hat, paired it with my Western boots, and we are rocking the coastal cowgirl running into my chair. What else? Oh yeah, okay. And then I grabbed the Lee jeans. I'm really excited to try these on because I do love some wide leg denim. So we'll see if I turn these into shorts or if they're the perfect like cropped jeans look. They were $8.99. <laughs> yeah, these are definitely, definitely getting cropped. So I am loving the denim Bermuda shorts. So that's kind of the length I was going for. Ah! Margo, <laughs> I thought I was alone. Come here, girl. <laughs> she can open up doors. You scared me, girl. <laughs> Come here. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> she scared me and then I scared her. Margo is my... Australian Shepherd. Got to pair it with your satchel. Oh, your leather satchel. It's a whole mood. This feels like it's in such good condition, very new. Oh, I actually love that the lining on the inside looks like denim material. Blue tags are not on sale, so it was $12.99. And I think it's great. Time for another look. Okay, the final bottom that I picked up was this bandana looking denim skirt. Denim skirts are definitely a part of this look. And I guess we're just really leaning into it with our bandana print. Originally from Urban Outfitters and I got it for $7.99. And then this top I actually found at Savers a few weeks ago. And I just paired it with it because I felt like it fit the vibe. I definitely in real life won't be wearing this together because I don't like, I don't like showing this much of my stomach, but I figured for the video, it worked. So, yeehaw. On to dresses. This one is the most unlike me. Like normally I would never go for anything like this, but I feel like for summertime, this could be quite the vibe. I do like it more paired with the boots. Um, and like having like this whole look, the whole coastal cowgirl look, I feel like it's definitely more wearable for me. This dress was $14.99. And then I picked up this woven bag as well. Very cute with this little button detail. And then I did grab that red bandana. I just threw it on the bag just for some fun effect. A little pop of color. I don't think a coastal cowgirl would wear red, but I thought it was fun. So here we go. Dress number one and bag and handkerchief. Oh, as I was taking it off, I realized you could also wear it like this and I love it 10 times more off the shoulder. Try your sleeves off the shoulder and then see how you feel. Okay, next item. You know what's fun about trends is that you can interpret them however you want. And so this is my interpretation of Ryan Dar Coastal Cowboy. Is it cowboy or cowgirl? The Coastal Cowboy. I don't care if this dress is considered this aesthetic or not. I love this dress. I love the color. I love whatever like fairy 
princess detail is going on going on on the bottom um yes it is kind of busy right in here but i, I don't know i think it's fun like it it just kind of pops all these little sparkle elements perfect for summer this is just a fun outfit like this outfit makes me so happy if you put an outfit on and it makes you so happy you feel like you're glowing it's an outfit for you wear it rock it love it i love this one this one's a 10 out of 10 for me as much as i loved the brown fairy this one is my favorite because this dress the fit of it is insane because i didn't really want it to be totally see-through which it kind of is like it has all these lacy like this is all see-through this lace panel is like you know lace and see-through so is this one so i just threw some biker shorts underneath because i just want to feel concealed but i love this dress worth every single dollar of my 9.99 that i spent on this dress we are a coastal cowgirl i literally don't want to take this off but i need to wash it okay you guys thank you so much for coming along with me on this thrifting adventure for coastal cowboy coastal cowgirl whatever we want to call it i had so much fun is there if there are any other aesthetics that you want me to try and thrift comment them down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you had a lot of fun and be sure to subscribe it really supports the channel but i love you so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one